Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for Ruby and Rails tutorials. Today we will learn how to create our first Rails application. So let's go. Before starting with this video, if you don't know how to set up Rails or your system does not have Rails, please watch my previous video first and then start with this one. So let's write a command create, create app and let's write the name. I'm using for example the application name is first app. Let's type enter. So the application is created now. So let's open our project in IntelliJ IDEA. So if you are doing this for the first time, it will take a moment to download all the necessary dependencies. Grails uses Gradle as its build system and in the build.gradle file, you will find all the dependencies for the Grails framework with the option to add more as you need it. This initial download may take some time for new users. Open your build.gradle file and take a look inside. This file contains all the definitions for the dependencies and plugins. You will find various Rails dependencies listed here. So let's navigate to the project directory and now let's open our Grails app folder. Here we have separate directories for controller, views, configuration and more. In the controllers folder, we create our controller and define action. This is also where we set up URL mappings. In URL.mappings, it allows you to specify how URL should be mapped to controllers and actions, providing flexibility in defining your application's URL structure. Let's navigate to configuration folder and open application.yml file. In this file, you can configure various aspects of your application. It's a YML file, so it's structured with indentation to represent data hierarchy. You can use it to set properties for your application, plugins and dependencies, such as database settings, logging configuration, security settings and more. The logback.xml file in a Grails application is used to configure logging settings such as log levels, appenders, and log file locations, allowing for flexible and detailed logging configurations to monitor and debug your application. The message.property file in a Grails application is used to define internationalization, allowing you to provide translation for different languages making your application more accessible to a global audience. Application.groovy is used for configuring application-wide settings, while Bootstrap.groovy is used for initializing data and performing startup tasks when the application starts. Views are where your application's data is presented to users. Common types of views like index.jsp and main.jsp correspond to different actions in controllers displaying information and handling user interaction in a web-friendly format. Let's look into the integration test folder again. Grails integration tests verify how different parts of your app like controller services and database work together. They help ensure that these components interact correctly, mimicking real-world scenarios for more reliable applications. We also have support for unit testing. We can write unit test in the test folder. Let's take a look into the assets directory. In a Grails application, assets are static files like CSS, JavaScript, and images. These enhance the user interface and functionality. Grails provides a streamlined way to manage and serve these assets, ensuring efficient handling and delivery to the client. Now let's take a quick look on the Gradle.properties file. It is used to configure Gradle build settings such as project version, dependencies and other build related properties. All the dependencies we have added in the build.gradle file, you can see that in the external libraries.
Now let's run the project using the Gradle boot run. You can see now application is up and running and by default it will use 8080 port. You can see a welcome green message. We can also view the application status. We can see different artifact and all the installed plugins. Thanks for watching this video and don't worry if you don't know what controller services model or views are, we will be covering all these concepts in detail in upcoming videos. Please like and subscribe for more content and see you in the next one.